Hello, this is a tutorial on 2.4b1. This uh, sheet's a little bit more difficult than uh, the other sheets because now we have a decimal in the divider, uh, the divisor, and in the dividend. So just a quick reminder that 12 divided by 4 is equal to 12 divided by 4, and it's equal to 12 divided by 4. So this first number is going to go inside the house. So I have uh, 1. I'll draw my division here. I got 1.68. And I'm going to divide that by 0.8. Well, I cannot have a decimal out here in this divisor. So I'm going to multiply this side by 10. And then I'm going to multiply this side by 10. So now I've got this new problem. This becomes an 8. This becomes 16.8. And we're ready to divide. And that decimal, that goes right up there. We're done. That's where the decimal is going to be. So does 8 fit into 10? No. Does 8 fit into 16? It goes in there two times. At 16, we zeroed out. Bring down the 8. Does 8 go into 8? It sure does. It goes in there one time. 1 times 8 is 8. We can subtract it out. We've, we've zeroed out a problem. Here's our answer right here. 2.1. Okay, so I'm going to write this one up top here. Uh, so I have a little bit more room. So we have 14.28, and we are going to divide that by 4.2. Again, we can't have a decimal out here in the divisor, so I'm going to change that to 42 by multiplying it by 10, and I'm going to change this one to 142.8. So now I'm going to rewrite that, 142.8 divided by 42. Really, all we did there is we moved the decimal, we multiplied it by 10. Does 142, does 42 go into 142? It's going to go in there three times. Three times 40 would be 120. Three times 2 would be 6. So this would be 126. Subtract that out. 12 minus 6 is going to give me 6. This is a 3 minus 2 gives me 16. Okay, that's my decimal is going to be right there. So I'm just going to bring down this 8. Um, how many will, will 42 fit into 168? It's actually going to go in there four times. Four times 40 is 160. Four times 2 is 8. So it's 168. It gets subtracted out. And we zeroed that out. Do another one here. Let's write it up here. 20.46 divided by 3.3. And again, I have to move that decimal. All right, I'm just going to put down a sticky note here before I get started so we have enough, make sure we have enough room going down. I think it might be a little tight on some of these. So 204.6, and we're dividing that by 33. Um, will 33 fit into 204? Yes, it's going to go in there six times. I went off and multiplied it off to the side here. I got 33 times 6 was 198, so I'll just put that in. Six times a decimal up 198. So I'm going to have to go all the way over here to make a trade. That's going to become a 9. This will become a 10. So we have 14 minus 8 is 6. And then I have 9 minus 9 is 0. So I just have 6 there. I can bring down the 6. So 33 going to 66. It wasn't there twice. 66 in zeros out subtracted. Uh, so when you're doing these, know that you will be able to tell if you're on the right track is if you're one decimal deep. All these problems are going to have answers like 2.1, 3.4, Okay, so 19.32. So here's my divisor here. So I'm going to have to move one spot here. So I'm going to move one spot here myself a little more room this time. So we have 193.2 and we're going to divide that by 23. My line in here. All right. Uh, does 23 go into 193? Ah, seven or eight times. Let's try eight first. Let's go for broke here. Eight times 23. Eight times three is 24. There's the four. And there's the 20. 8 times 2 is 16. 
plus 2 is 184. 8 times 3 is 24. 2, 8 times 8. Yeah, 184, that's pretty doggone close. So we're going to take that 8. So that's 184. And we will subtract that. We have to make a trade. 13 minus 4 is 9. And that's all we've got left. Put this down. Put my decimal up. Now we have 92. And I believe it's 4 times. 4 times 23. 4 times 3 is 12. There's the 1. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 92. So it's 4 times. We can subtract it out and zero it out. All right. Good luck on the, the rest of these. Remember, it should be one decimal deep, as I call it.